to Sunderland. It's a bit like Newcastle, but the people are friendlier. This is Weemouth Bridge and it was built in 1928, the same year that I was born. Hello, this is Mowbray Park, popular with pigeons, seagulls and a walrus. What are you about to do? About to climb up to the Pinch Monument. And how many stairs are there there? Oh, I don't know. I think there's a lot. Who's fittest, me or you? I think you'll be fittest because you're younger. I know, but I'm heavier. I'm heavier. Shall we see? Let's do Pencher Monument steps together, eh? Are you up for it? Yes. Let's do it, girl. Welcome to Pencher Monument. I tell you what, are you the fittest and strongest woman with the most stamina in Sunderland? Mary, is that true? No, I don't think so. The real the women like me. Because we're all tough. And you can look around and see how high we've came. And we used to do this every weekend because we had a picnic when we got to the top. And that was good. time ago but I think it was warmer then than it is now. Mary told us she said I want to go up Pension Monument I haven't been up for years. Mary we've just been up we've done it go on how do you feel? I feel terrific I didn't believe that I could do it but you helped me very much and I'm very very pleased that I was able to come to the top of Pension Monument once more. Fantastic you've done a top job Mary. Brilliant! St Peter's Church, the oldest church admired by many visitors to Sunderland. They come especially to see this place. It's a beautiful setting, a beautiful church and it's beautiful inside also. Well, it's a long time ago so just reckon it up, take your time to reckon it up but it is a long time ago and it's stood its task well. beach in Sunderland and it's very wide today but this is quite frequent for Sunderland because we are so close to the sea we're practically in the sea <laughs> This is Holy Rock, nothing to do with religion, just got lots of holes in it. This used to be a paddling pool where you had a good time when you were little. Uh, it wasn't very deep, it was only a paddling pool for children three and four year old really. If it's all right with you, I'm not going swimming today. It was a beautiful beach. Everybody flocked to it and it was really well supported. And then they used to go further around into the, into the bed and sands. And you, you just, it was just packed in a sea of places. This as used to be, this was a picture of Roca Beach which held all those people and you had to be down early on the morning and pitch a tent, pitch a spot, otherwise you couldn't get on the sands. It was always that packed and it was every day, not just one day but most on a weekend where everybody just came down and you 
People used to point to a certain place and say, if you get lost, look for this point, I shall be there. And that was what used to happen. These are the smugglers' caves, which was, in the early years, brought contraband up from the sea, through the tunnels and onto Hilton Castle, and then further afield, I understand. But of course, now they're all blocked off and you can't get through. This is the bandstand where we have lovely music and crowds of people on a Sunday afternoon. People used to really flock down here and take, go onto this beach. Then they used to go further around on both sides. It was well, well supported. Hello. I used to be here as a young girl. I enjoyed this park very much. You've got great artwork. Not in galleries. On the side of the buildings. Like this. Sunderland. Sunderland means divided land. <laughs> Sunderland won the FA Cup in 1937, May 1937, the month that I was born. And they also won the cup in the year that I was born, 1973. I didn't bring the magic. It's always been here. I just came back to find it. And my dad's cousin is a Sunderland legend, Jim Montgomery. Welcome to the stadium of life where Sunderland used to play football. Well, they still play there, don't they? I haven't seen them on Match of the Day for ages. I do. Welcome to Sunderland Museum, a place full of old relics. Who are you calling old relics? This is what the miners used to look like, but I'm not sure about the beards. Sunderland used to have coal mining and shipbuilding, and now it's got nothing. Lots of people think that Nissan cars were made in Japan, but in fact, lots of them are made in Sunderland. That was the fireplace, and you could put the pans on the side to rest, to keep warm. And this was a grill, also a place to keep things warm. And this was the oven. And they had shelves in which you could adjust. And you could, uh, depending on what the item was, on the, um, the shelves could be taken out and lowered or put closer to the heat. Look, he's got patches on his diamond suit. I hope they don't let him water. The line's been here since 1879. Even in the war, we used to wash our tights and stockings and cut them into strips yes, right. and used to make them with hessian and a proger. A proger was a piece of metal shaped and we would put it through the hessian and on the other side we would wrap around the material for Whatever we had, it used to be stopped sometimes, trimmed, and we would put it through the hessian, pull it through just to a certain height, and move it along. So, and this is 
is how my mum and sister and myself used to make the proggy mats. Yeah, I remember my mum used to make rag mats when I was a little girl and they were lovely. Joseph Swan, he was from Sunderland and he invented the electric clamp. It's tropical in Sunderland. We've even got palm trees and even good weather and sunshine. That's lovely. Welcome to Sunderland, to the National Glass Centre, which somehow or other is free to all. You can see people eating their dinner through this glass roof. All this Pyrex glass was made in Sunderland. I am now off to blow some glass or some glass depending on which part of Sunderland or which school you went to. And which school did you go to, Mildred? I went to Bead. So are you glass or glass? It all depends who I'm talking to. <laughs> I'm going to give Mildred a, a little chance of the glass blow now. Deep breath and again. That's great. Thank you, that's me. That's good. And again. Deep breath. And again. And again. Go here. One last time. Like that. There you go. All right. I've shown these lads how to blow glass. <laughs> Welcome to the Winter Gardens in Sunderland. I used to work at British Ropes. They made ropes like these. The Winter Gardens is full of old dinosaurs. I warned you about that. I told you earlier. And I really do. Welcome to Sunderland. I'm going to be making a film in Sunderland, uh, mm. but we appear to be a bit too busy doing what, ladies? Eating ice cream. Eating ice cream. Um, just tell us, is every day as gloriously hot and sunny as this in Sunderland? Yes, nearly Absolutely always. every day. You absolute liars. You'll, you'll, you'll tell me out. You will. Unbelievable. 